Today I'm going to show you the best strategy that you can use to fix your forward head posture. What's going on everybody? How are you doing? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorilla Zen Fitness and in today's video I'm going to show you the best exercise sequence and strategy that you can use to fix your forward head posture or forward head carriage. To begin, forward head posture is characterized by your head being pushed out in front of your center of gravity out in front of you, kind of like a uh, you know vulture neck. This is an extremely common problem in today's society and this can lead to all sorts of different you know issues. Not only issues with your neck but issues with your, your neurology, right? Your nerves, you can cause nerve impingement from this. This can cause upper back issues, shoulder issues, a variety of different things. So like any other postural distortion, forward head posture is caused by certain muscles in the neck um, being too tight and exerting too much pull on the bones of the neck and other muscles being too weak that are not counteracting those tight muscles. So basically, one way that you can go about fixing or addressing your forward head posture is to release and stretch those tight muscles and then strengthen and shorten the weak ones to change the, the alignment of your neck, basically. So the muscles that are typically short and too strong and too tight in somebody with forward head posture are gonna be the sternocleidomastoid, which starts here behind the ear and it runs forward and attaches right here, okay? Basically, this muscle, you can see right here just by the, the length of it, when it shortens, okay, it's gonna pull you into that forward position, okay? So that's one of the muscles, sternocleidomastoid. It runs diagonally, attaches behind the ear, ear here, runs down your neck here, and attaches right here, okay? So that's one of the muscles that gets tight. Another muscle that is tight in people with forward head posture are a group of muscles behind the head here called the cervical extensors, okay? Basically, all these muscles on the back of your neck. Now, the muscles that are typically weak in somebody with forward head posture are called the deep cervical flexors. And these are some muscles that basically sit um, to either side of your throat here, okay? They're deep in here and they sit on either side of your throat. The, the, basically, the function of these muscles is to push the head back like that. So like I said, we're gonna basically address the tight tissues first, we're gonna release those, and then we're gonna strengthen those deep cervical flexors, okay? And by doing that, we're gonna basically change the position of your head. So we're gonna release and stretch sternocleidomastoid in the back of the neck, and then we're gonna strengthen these muscles in here, the deep cervical flexors. Okay, so I wanna show you a really simple technique to basically release the sternocleidomastoid, all right? Um, this muscle, it's very easy to find, and what I want you to do is get your index finger and your middle finger, place it behind your ear here, and gently kind of rub the side of your neck here, gently, and you'll feel the, the muscle basically, okay? You can follow it with your finger, just like I am right now, okay? This is essentially what I want you to do to release it, okay? I want you to do a little self-massage with your fingers, okay? You can do this on both sides. Be very gentle here, but basically start behind your neck, and kind of make tiny little circles and run your, your fingers down the sternocleidomastoid muscle, okay? If you're having a hard time finding it here, then what I'd suggest you do is Google image search sternocleidomastoid, okay? But it should be pretty easy for you to find. It should be kind of thick if you have forward head posture. Start with the index finger and the middle finger behind the ear and just run down. You'll feel it run down the side of your neck at an angle like this and then attach right here on your chest, okay? So what I want you to do Use both fingers and do these light little circles running down the entire length of the muscle for about 30 seconds to a minute. That should be more than enough to actually cause that muscle to release. Now to release the back of the neck, we're gonna need a special tool called a peanut, okay? So this thing looks kind of weird, but it's basically two lacrosse balls that are fused together, okay? You can make one of these yourselves. You don't have to basically have one like this which is pre-made. You can do this by either just using an athletic tape around two lacrosse balls or you can um, tape two tennis balls together. If you don't have one of these or you can't make one, then you know having somebody gently massage the back of your neck will, you know, do the same thing. However, having a tool like this makes it a lot easier because you can become self-sufficient with it. So I highly recommend getting a peanut or making one yourself by taping either lacrosse balls or tennis balls together with athletic tape. But essentially what we're gonna use this for is we're gonna get on the ground, in just a second I'll show this to you. I'm gonna get on the ground and we're gonna use this to roll the back of the neck very gently to get some muscular release of those muscles back there. Okay, so to use the peanut, basically you're gonna put your spine right in between the two balls here, okay? And 
What we're going to use this for is we're going to use it to basically stimulate the muscle fibers in the back of the neck to release themselves. So you're going to start at the base of your neck. You're going to be very, very gentle on your neck here. And you're simply going to kind of roll up and down the neck here, okay? Letting those balls sink into the muscles, not pushing too hard. But you're going to start at the base of the neck and you're going to work your way down to about the tops of the shoulder blades, okay? And like I said, you're being very gentle. If you want a little extra pressure, you can kind of lift up the hips like this, but be very careful on the neck. It's a very sensitive structure. But essentially, you're going to use this to release those muscles. You're going to do this for about a minute or so, or until you feel a physical difference in the tension behind your neck. Okay, so now I'm going to show you an awesome strengthening exercise that strengthens the deep cervical flexors. Coincidentally, this also stretches the sternocleidomastoid and the cervical extensors back here, both of which are going to be sort of pre-released, okay, because of those two exercises that we just went through. Okay, so this sequence, you know, this is why I believe that this is the best sequence to address forward head posture because a lot of people just will go right to this exercise that I'm about to show you right now. But this, this exercise is made at least twice as effective when you couple it with those two release exercises with the peanut and the fingers in the sternocleidomastoid um, that we just did, okay? Basically, like I said, we pre-loosened those muscles so that you're gonna have a little bit more range of motion when you're doing this exercise and you're just gonna get more benefit from it. But like I said, what this does is it strengthens the deep cervical flexors while simultaneously simultaneously stretching the back of the neck and also stretching the sternocleidomastoid as well. Okay, so this is a very common exercise. You can do this against the wall standing or you can do it on your back on the floor. It doesn't really matter which position that you do this in, to be honest, okay? Um, but the way I like to do it is you're gonna lay on your back with your knees bent. Okay, this will help keep your pelvis neutral. And simply, there's two steps to this exercise. One is you're gonna tuck the chin and bring it down close to the chest, okay? From here, once you're in this position, you're gonna push your head into the ground this way, okay? Like you're trying to give yourself double chins and you're trying to think about flattening out the, the, your neck like you're trying to touch it to the floor, okay? We're gonna hold this as the isometric exercise and you're gonna do this for five sets of 30 seconds, okay? So basically, step one, tuck the chin, step two, push down with the head like this, like you're trying to flatten out the neck, okay? This is an isometric strengthening exercise, okay? Don't push too hard with this. Um, the more uh, forward head posture you have, the more uncomfortable this is gonna be in the back of your head um, when you first start doing it. So take it easy on yourself. And uh, basically what's happening here is you're stretching those muscles in the back of your head which attach on the back of the head. So you might feel some sensations there. Uh, you might even feel the sternocleidomastoids, but what you should be focusing on muscle contraction wise, which muscles were actually working with this, are those deep cervical flexors. So think about those while you're performing this. Think about those muscles on the side of your Adam's apple, okay? They run parallel to it. Think about those contracting and working while you're doing it because those are the ones that we are actually trying to strengthen. The other ones are gonna be stretched and released just as a natural result of doing this, but it's important that we really get some muscle activation in, in here. You might not feel it in here at first, especially because you're weak, in, you're weak in there probably and you don't have very much neuromuscular control, okay? But over time, as you continue to do this exercise, you should start to feel these muscles turn on and that's what we're going for. There you have it. Incorporate those exercises into your routine and uh, let me know how it goes for you. On a concluding note, the you know, release of the sternocleidomastoid in the back of the neck, you should not have to do that all the time, okay? At a certain point, your forward head posture should improve enough so that you don't have to do that, at which point you can stop doing those and just do the chin tucking exercise as a maintenance uh, exercise all by itself. Just gauge this for yourself based on how your forward head posture is improving. I also really quickly want to touch on the fact that these muscle imbalances that are causing forward head posture, I want you to think of them as part of a sequence or chain, right? So basically, the muscle imbalances are a symptom or a consequence of something else, okay? So we just kind of address them, which is good. Um, but really, the causative factors of forward head posture are being, are associated with being in that position all the time. So, you know, these exercises are basically not gonna do much good for you if you do them every day, but then you spend 10 hours, you know, texting on a phone like this, or you're sleeping with a pillow that's oversized, that's pushing your head forward. Um, 
So just think of it that way. You need to stop doing, you need to stop putting yourself in forward head posture in order for these exercises to have the most benefit for you. Now there are some things, like I mentioned, pillow size as well as breathing that can actually cause these muscle imbalances that cause forward head posture, okay? Um, so I've made videos on these in the past and for your convenience, I'll link those in the description down beneath this video. That's it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have and you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that over here. Also, if you want to learn more about posture and how to fix it for yourself, then make sure you grab your free copy of my book, Posture the Ultimate Life Hack. What this is, it's a guide. You can get it right here or if you're watching this on mobile and you can't click that, you can open up the first link in the description down below. But what it is, is it's a guide that teaches you how to use corrective exercises, strengthening, stretching, foam rolling, and other things, basically to improve your posture, okay? So make sure you pick up a copy of that. When you click that link over here or when you click, click the link in the description down below, what that will do is it'll take you to my website where I'll ask you to put in your email as soon as you put in your email, I'll instantly send you my guide, Posture the Ultimate Life Hack. That's it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.